Meanwhile, in Spain, after the announcement of the recognition of the Palestinian state, Israel takes measures that prohibits the Spanish government to provide consular services to Palestinian citizens. From Barcelona, our colleague Andres Flores with details. Exactly. The news goes through the international point here in Spain because Israel has finally decided to take the decision to prohibit Spain to provide consular services to the Palestinians of West Bank. A decision that had already been advanced on Friday in an unofficial way, not in an official way through a communique and in this case it is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Israel that has affirmed this prohibition to Spain, a prohibition that comes of course after the decision of the Spanish state to recognize the Palestinian state. A decision that also for now is something that has been expressed through different channels but that has not been made official because it will be made tomorrow, a decision that will also be accompanied by different countries of Europe and that of course Israel had already stated that it was going to respond. The response has come from the diplomatic point of view with this prohibition, which we must clarify, is a prohibition that applies to those people with, those people from Palestine, not those people with Spanish passports for whom the consulate will be able to continue providing services. We recall that this also comes as a result of a large social mobilization in Spain that was pressing in the streets for a request for recognition of the Palestinian state and also accompanied by other slogans that we have seen repeated in the various demonstrations such as the end of the arms trade with Israel. We are going to follow very closely what is happening with all this issue because these are going to be key days today because of this consular ban. But it will also be key tomorrow when the recognition of the Palestinian state by Spain is formalized.